Good evening, everybody. It is Monday, June 20th, and this is Minister Karen Williams with the Miriam's Cup podcast for today. Today's topic is going to be very brief. It's been a pretty long day, so I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but I just want to leave something with you. Rather, I want to leave a question with you. To trust or not to trust? That is the question, okay? Now, one of the stories that I really enjoy in the Bible is the story of Mary and Martha. It's in the New Testament. And in that story, Jesus comes to visit their home and Martha is puttering around the house just trying to make sure that the dinner arrangements are all set, that the table is ready, that she is the perfect host and displays the most perfect etiquette that she can while Jesus is visiting their home. But on the other hand, her sister, who could be in the kitchen helping Martha get ready for their dinner party, Mary instead is intent on sitting at Jesus' feet. She wants to drink up every bit of his presence. She wants to drink up all of the wisdom and the knowledge that he has to share with her. And Martha doesn't quite understand that. But, you know, we also live in a day right now where there are a lot of people among us who do not understand that. They don't understand that the adage is true that when it is time for the student to learn, the teacher will appear. And it was time for Mary to learn just how critical, just how important it was for her to spend quiet time before the Lord, just communing with him alone. Even though her sister was there, she was so zoned into his presence and to the wisdom and knowledge and revelation that he was releasing to her that she wanted to receive the better part. And that better part is the knowledge that she chose to trust in the Lord. That's what I believe that better part was. So if you were in Mary's shoes, what would you do? Or with, or if you were in Martha's shoes, what would you do? Would you be so intent on making sure that the dinner party arrangements are perfect that you miss out on the lesson and the blessing of Jesus being in your home? But the good thing is you never have to worry about missing that lesson or that blessing. Because Jesus is with us. When he um, resurrected from the cross, he came down on earth and walked among us. And he still walks among us. He's still present in our homes. He's still present in our streets. He's still present in our schools. He's still present in our places of work. He's present in those places through you. And each and every time you take to get closer to him, more intimately connected with him, you too receive the better part. So I'm going to leave you with that question again. Do you or do you not choose to trust Jesus? And this evening on June 20th, that is the question. God bless you and have a great evening. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.